Hello viewers, Edward Shanahan here. I was asked to give um, my information of what Bachelors Grove Cemetery means to me for this documentary that you're watching. Um, that will be coming out at the end of the year. I am looking at look, a couple of notes, so just bear with me on that. So the question is, what does Bachelors Grove mean to me? Um, I was running around in Bachelors Grove probably Back in 1976, um, after hearing Mr. Richard Crow talk about Bachelors Grove, um, Mr. the late Mr. Crow was basically the only ghost expert in the Chicagoland area. We would hear him on the Eddie Short show at night, and uh, it was good listening. He talked about the whole southwest suburbs and uh, the haunting some of the Chicagoland area places. He was a first and the expert. Um, he has passed away, and basically, I believe in 2012, he passed away. And um, I did a, before he did pass away, I'm one of the few people that actually did an article on the examiner uh, on the internet about him. And um, so everybody else jumped on the bag way after he passed. But I'm happy he got to read it before he did. He, it did mean a lot to me. Bachelor's Grove itself, it was um, it was interesting back then. Okay, I not I could I could go back and say, oh, I've been uh, you know doing ghost hunting since I was 15 or 16. Well, the actual fact is, as with most people at the age of 16 or those individuals my age or a few years younger, um, it was just good teenage fun back then. And back then, we were able to drive it back into Bachelors Grove, right off of Midlothian uh, Turnpike. As you see, as you may see on my website, Chicago Paranormal Nights, I have different videos. I have a video of the place, um, a tour of the location. Back in, it was recorded in 2003. So, yeah, I've been in the paranormal field for a long time. I did have a public access cable TV show, The Unexplained World. But you can see the video, video tour, Bachelors Grove video tour. If you type that in, it's about 17 minutes long. Um, you can see it there. I also have captured what appears to be the ghost house in Bachelors Grove, okay? The one that people talk about, but nobody's got pictures. It seems like I have a picture of it. So back in, back in like 1975, 76, I believe it was, uh, me and my buddy Dave went back in Bachelors Grove at night. And it was cool. You could go back there at night, and we, we, we went walking toward the lagoon back there, and we got within about six feet, six, eight feet of the lagoon, and what happened was we started hearing footsteps coming toward us from the lake. Nobody there in front of us coming from the lagoon, okay? So we kind of panicked and uh, ran out of there like Abbott and Costello, got in the car, and took off. Next morning, we came back, and... Uh, we went wandering. I loved the way it looked back then. It was a giant maze. It was paths, headstones, and a giant maze. People kind of ruined it today, cutting it down, uh, cutting tree limbs and everything else. I wish they would stop. I wish Cook County uh, Forest Preserve would stop them. Um, it does, you know, kind of ruined it. Back then, it was it was actually even more active back then than it is today. Um, Matter of fact, today you would almost have to go into the area where the satanic rituals were performed to actually experience some of the paranormal stuff. Now, if you look up Echo Vox, Edward Shanahan, Bachelors Grove, you will come across where we did do some. <clears throat> it's an Echo Vox. It's um, it's a it's a paranormal tool. Tool. We did go into Bachelors Grove. We did four segments. Or there's four videos of it up on this um, in YouTube of the responses we we're re receiving. The thing that makes it interesting is Bachelors Grove is tied into Senator John Humphrey's house. Um, the Humphreys, Mr. and Mrs. Humphrey, their first child that was born died, and they had it buried at um, Mrs. Humphrey's family's gravesite, which is in Bachelors Grove Cemetery. So the question was, is she the Madonna of Bachelors Grove? Because she died 
she died later. She was found dead in the house. Mr. Humphrey married his secretary. And uh, she was uh, buried somewhere else. She wasn't buried in Bachelors Grove. She wasn't buried with her child. So people wonder if she's, and this comes from the Orland Park Historical Society, they wonder if she's the Madonna of Bachelors Grove. Well, we took that go box in there, me and the spirit feelers and other people that showed up, and we asked it, is this your mother? Is your mother the Madonna? He said, yes, and a bunch of other answers to get behind it. Uh, so Bachelors Grove, it means a lot. I have not become obsessed with it. Many, many, many people have become obsessed with it. It's ruined their lives, too, for a few of them that I personally know. Um, I live within 10 minutes of the location. And if I've been there six times, it would, have been, it would be many. The one time that you will see the ghost house photograph, etc., cetera, um, screaming face next to a headstone, those, that was the only time I ever pulled out the camera there. And that was back in 2003. Haven't pulled it out since. I got what I needed. When I took pictures, it wasn't 200 pictures. It was approximately uh, 15 to 20. Okay. I go by instincts. I suggest that for people go by your instincts. If you feel the draw to take a picture, okay, saves film and saves the board. I'm gonna look into every picture. The Vatra Grove means a lot. It means basically it's the first place for a lot of people. It was the first place for me to experience anything. Um, good teenage fun, as it is with most people uh, when they're a teenager, as it is with most people my age. I could probably say Mr. Richard Crow, Mr. Dale Kazmarek, because he's a couple years older than me, and myself. We're probably the known, you know, in a Chicago paranormal field that experienced that. Everybody else, later, Johnny come lately, okay? Um, the author's an aunt, okay? One author would have been about eight years old. So we go back with the experience. Um, unfortunately, Mr. Richard Crow is no longer with us up in heaven and as far as Dale he's still around as far as me I'm still around so yeah Patrick Grove he has a memory um, like I said first paranormal experience not for supernatural uh, I was the age of 10 I was uh, looking at that black mirrors and stuff like that so um, that goes back a long time with me so I hope you enjoyed my description I would say if you go there go there with an open mind uh, as you watch the documentary, watch it with an open mind. Um, catch up with my videos, Chicago Paranormal Nights, or look up edwardshanahan.com. That's me. Um, 2012, I was given the award, Best Psychic Slash Medium in the Chicagoland area. I wasn't trying for it. They gave it to me, and so that was first to be known for me. And uh, I appreciate the people. I appreciate showing up there. Me having people show up. It's not something I charge for. I'll say I'm going to Badger's Grove Cemetery. Um, usually post on Facebook. And those that follow me or join in usually have some type of experience we try to uh, get to. So thank you. I hope you enjoyed this. Hope you enjoyed the documentary. And uh, happy hauntings. Bye bye.